At 54 years old, Mikhail Gorbachev became the youngest leader of the Soviet Union, and he was to be the last. Few would doubt that he changed the course of 20th century history, although he's revered and respected more in the West than in modern Russia. One of his biggest achievements was signing a disarmament treaty with US President Ronald Reagan that took out a whole class of nuclear weapons. It earned him a Nobel Peace Prize. Joe Biden cited this achievement in his tribute, describing Gorbachev as a man of remarkable vision. He said the result was a safer world and greater freedom for millions of people. Vladimir Putin said, Gorbachev had a huge impact on the course of world history. He deeply understood reforms were necessary and strove to offer solutions. Antonio Guterres, the UN Secretary General, said the world has lost a towering global leader, committed multilateralists and tireless advocate for peace. The EU Commission President Ursula von der Leyen said Gorbachev played a crucial role to end the Cold War and bring down the Iron Curtain. It opened the way for a free Europe. Many Russians see him as the man who stood by as the Soviet Union disintegrated. His legacy is that he allowed for the peaceful collapse of the Soviet Union. He did not use massive force to keep Eastern Europe uh, in the empire. And for that, he deserves credit. But it is not that this was someone who came in trying to undermine the system. He tried to reform it. Gorbachev used perestroika, or restructuring, to reform a stagnant economy that had seen people short of food and consumer goods. And he used glasnost, openness and freedom of speech that led to parts of the Eastern Bloc rising up against communism. It was the beginning of the end of the Cold War. One state after the other broke away. Angela Merkel, former German Chancellor, spoke in her tribute of the fear in East Germany, with expectation the tanks would roll in. But quite the contrary, it wasn't long before the Berlin Wall came down. Yet now, 30 years on with Russia's invasion of Ukraine, comes the danger of further east-west conflict. Russia and its president are digging new trenches in Europe and have started a horrible war on Ukraine. It's now we think of Mikhail Gorbachev and realize what he did for our country and all of Europe. Gorbachev, hailed as a man of peace, has died at a time when his country is heavily engaged in war. Andrew Simmons, Al Jazeera.